I know you did not participate in the documentary and you didn't watch the documentary, which I think is reminding me of the Herb Brooks story, uh, you know, the miracle. And that, and they, it ends with him saying Herb Brooks died before it hit the uh, the screens starring Kurt, Kurt Russell. They said he, he never saw it. And then they write, he lived it. And that's kind of, that's kind of how you are in this documentary. Right. I, I really, you know, I can't speak intelligently about it. I didn't see it and I didn't see it where it's in context. And, um, you know, to me, I'm a terrible businessman because uh, a lot of my colleagues are telling me you should be going out making the rounds. And, and the reality is, is I don't need to do victory laps on a, a case I won 11 years ago. I, I have my most important case is the next one right in front of me, because in this business, Nobody cares what you did in the past, only when they're hiring you in mm-hmm. hopes of what you're going to do in the future. So for me right now, my main focus is what's in front of me and, and what I have, uh, the, the, the cl- current cases that I have, which are very dear and important to me and, and, and very important to the families uh, of the folks that I represent. So, yeah. I, so was, was there, I'm trying to figure out whether that. there was a falling out. Because she says in this documentary that she's very close with several members of her defense team who she describes as her new family. Obviously, she's not close with the first family. Um, and she lists them by name, and you're not listed. So <laughs> was there a falling out? Uh, no, there's no falling out. I mean, it, it's just been 11 years, and I've moved on with other cases. And I have clients that I represented three years ago who I'll hear occasionally from, but that we, you know, we're not— we're not uh, friends or, or family. Uh, they are yeah. they are clients who are all very special to me at, 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 and very important learning experiences in my life. But it's not something that that I um, hold on to because I have to, what I do. You have to be all in or not in at all. And I'm um, I guess um, one of those true believers that believes you have to be all in. So. You know, I wish nothing but the best for Miss Anthony, and I, I really hope she finds peace in her life and and all of those other folks who are also involved. But um, I, I no, I've got as you know from even this interview, we've been trying to set this up for six months, but my my work schedule has gotten in the way forever. Well, I think every case you take on is in the headlines. These are big cases with big stakes. So I do get it. I mean, it's hard for me to think, to feel as you do that. I wish her the best. You know, I wish her peace. I, I don't feel, I confess, I don't feel that way. You heard me say in the first segment, I don't, I I definitely think she did it like most of America does. And I, I know you may disagree, but I, I really believe as a Catholic, I believe she's going to go to hell. I believe she will meet her maker and she will be held to account for what I believe she did to her own baby. And to listen to her tell these obvious lies, Jose, was somewhat infuriating to me. It was as a lawyer, as a mother, I'm, I'm, you know, I get why they did it, why they put it together, but I don't think it was a fair piece at all. It did not include the prosecution's arguments or rebuttals to what she was saying. And it really gave her a pass on the toughest evidence against her. Uh, just a big platform to spew what appeared to me to be blatant lies. Lies that didn't even comport with your argument at the trial. Like, let's just deal with that first. Deal with the emotion in this case, because you know I speak for millions of people who hate her, right? So to those people who feel as I just outlined, I feel, what what say you? Well, it's, it's interesting because you and I haven't spoken for years. Um, I think the last time we spoke was back when the case was going on. Yeah. So, um, and I can tell you back then, no one knew what happened. And the evidence in this case is one that we're never going to have all of the answers. And people have a hard time with that. People need finality. People need to know certain things. And Mm -hmm. I think that that, that's a big uh, problem when it comes to talking about people in their lives of whether they did something or not. Here you are. Um, saying you wish she goes to hell. Um, I think she will. Is, the, the reality is, you know, I, 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 I understand how you feel. Uh, there's certainly a lot of, of folks who agree with you, and there's certainly folks that uh, agree on the other side. So the one thing that's certain, and I knew this case back in the day better than anyone, 
And the one thing that is certain is that we're never going to really know what happened. And um, I, I can say this much. The evidence was extremely weak when you got past the noise. Now, the noise is still there. And that's why I people hear you. feel the, the way they do. But once you got past the noise, there was no evidence for us to really understand what actually happened. And that was oh, the central died. theme. You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that. That that, that was the bit, prosecution's biggest challenge was that they couldn't tell the jury exactly how she died. They didn't know. And by the time they found little Kaylee's remains, there was no way of proving it. She was The, the remains were too decomposed. You, you were not able to determine the specific cause of death. And so that was really a problem because you're right, juries, uh, Amer Americans and juries in particular, they want to know what happened. They want the prosecution to be able to say, she did it and this is how she did it. And they couldn't. That was a major challenge that you exploited well, that you, you took proper advantage of. Well, you know, I, I, I don't believe I exploited it. This is, this is our constitution. This is our system of justice. And, you know, we like to judge people in life and we like to judge them especially in the media and in the courtroom. And I, I think what you have to do when you set up a system of justice is it has to be in line with what actually occurred so that we don't have the flip side of wrongful convictions, which run abundant in, in our system. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, rather than get on, I, I'm not trying to get on a, a white horse of justice here, but the reality is people gripe and complain about and, and uh, get outraged over Casey Anthony, but you don't see that type of outrage when someone spends 30 years in prison. You hear about one story when they get out, and that's the end of it. Nobody cares about them after that. Nobody cares about those responsible for putting them there, and no one goes after those who put them there. And, and there's hundreds and thousands of cases going on every single day where that occurs. And, um, and for that reason, we need these safeguards in place. And, and um, if you don't believe in no, the you're right. uh, send you're right. I mean, we, 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 free before one innocent man goes to, to prison, well, you will if it ever happens to you or someone you love. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? Oh my God. <laughs> Yet another thing to worry about. It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses. Is this explaining a lot in your world? then pay attention because Miracle Brand offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding like sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent 99% of bacteria and require three times less laundry, less laundering of them. Mm. Miracle Brand sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you'll get better sleep every night. They are infused with natural silver, that prevents 99.9% .9 of bacterial growth. How about that? Miracle sheets, the well-named, are the perfect gift for your spouse, friends, and family. Who doesn't want better sleep and luxurious feeling bed sheets? And since these come with three free towels, you get two gifts in one. Stop sleeping on bacteria. <laughs> Go try miracle.com slash MK to try today, okay? Go to trymiracle.com slash MK to try today or gift it to someone special this holiday season. And Miracle is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle brand. Go to trymiracle.com slash MK, trymiracle.com slash MK, and use that code MK to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, trymiracle.com slash MK to treat yourself, a friend, or a loved one this holiday season. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.